What is up, artists and creators? Ever wonder how to turn your digital art into an NFT, or even why you'd want to do such a thing? Well, fear no more, I'm Blaster's Dad, and today, I'm going to show you where to go to turn your digital art into an NFT, and how to sell it. Without wasting your time and running, let's get started. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to a platform in which you can sell your NFTs and create them. The two most popular so far seem to be OpenSea and Rarible. Today we're going to go over OpenSea. First you want to connect your crypto wallet, which I may end up having to make another video on that as well. The most popular wallets seem to be MetaMask for this platform and I use Coinbase. So then you're going to click sign in. I've got it set up for two-factor authentication on my phone, so I'll click confirm. It's going to sign me in directly to my profile. Since I already have a profile set up, you can see my thumbnail for my uh, profile icon. But if this is your first time, you're going to go over to general settings, put in your username, what you want to display, and a short bio of what your profile is about. I've put in Blaster's Dad and YouTube content creator, artist, and NFT collector. Then you can go ahead and put your email address in, save, Then I'm going to navigate over to the Create tab up in the top right. Here's where you upload any digital media you want to mint as an NFT. So I'm going to choose the intro to my YouTube video. And you can do JPEG, GIF, video, audio, etc. Okay, I've uploaded the intro. Now I'm just looking at it to make sure that's what I want. Looks like it imported correctly. Then the next step is to upload a preview image. So I'm just going to upload a preview image of what the NFT is. I've got that. Now I'm going to pick a name. So this is going to be called the Blaster's Dad YouTube Channel Intro. Then I'll put a brief description. And you have the option to make this part of a collection. I've already created a collection. And now I'm going to add this to that collection. This is going to be all the YouTube NFTs for Blaster's Dad channel. The good thing about creating it under a collection is that you are able to keep a royalty of up to 10%, which you can't do if it's not part of a collection. And where that comes into play is when someone resells the NFT to somebody else, you retain a 10% royalty from that. You can see I'm keeping the supply as one, so I'm not selling numerous NFTs of this same thing. It's going to be a one of one. Then you're going to select your blockchain. I was originally trying to do this with Ethereum, but there's a gas fee associated with that and I didn't feel like paying it right now because this is a new account. So I went with the option of Polygon, which does not charge gas fees apparently. So we'll select Polygon and then we're going to go to Create. Now the one thing I've noticed so far about the difference between using Ethereum and Polygon is that Polygon only allows you the option to put a set price. Ethereum seems to let you do a several different options such as a timed bid. Um, there's a couple other options. But for now we're going with Polygon. Simplest and easiest right off the bat. Create. It's going to load. And if you know of some other dire consequence of using Polygon, please let me know in the comments section. It's just loading up here. Takes a couple seconds. Okay, you've created Blaster's Dad YouTube channel intro, and then you have the option to share it immediately on Twitter, Facebook, there's a couple other options. We're not going to do that right this second. We're just going to go ahead and sell it for speed purposes here to get through the video. So we're going to go to select sell. Now we'll put in the price, and since this is a one of one, and I think the value will increase as the YouTube channel gets more popular. I'm going to sell it for 0.3 or 1180 US dollars. You can see there's also an open C fee of 2.5%, which right now I'm not sure if that's a one time fee or residual. Maybe you can leave a comment if you know. And then I've got my creator royalty, which is that 10% because it's part of a collection. Then we're going to go to complete listing. 
and sign. This is going to send a two-factor authentication to my phone. I'm going to accept. And since you are dealing with real money here and items for sale, do this at your own risk. This is just an informative video of my experience. Um, you may want to practice with a couple other NFTs first before you do an official one. But one safety net is that I have noticed you can cancel the listing, edit it, and repost another one. But that's it. Uh, looks like it's loaded it up. The listing's live. Thanks for watching, and leave any comments if you have any suggestions or ideas.